I'm finally talking about my favorite off-white Benjamin Moore White Dove. If you are in the market for a soft off-white to work in your home, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Ashley with HomeLikeYouMeanIt.com. I'm a true color expert and decorator, and today is all about Benjamin Moore White Dove. So let's get into it. So White Dove is, it is one of the most versatile soft whites on the market. And the reason is because it has two undertones. So most off-whites just have that yellow undertone and a lot of people get kind of scared about a yellow undertone. They don't want something that's too creamy, but the great thing about White Dove is yes, it has a yellow undertone. It's very faint, but it also has a grayish undertone. And that just works to make the paint color soft. Um, it works in so many different spaces with so many different decor styles. It's not too creamy. Now we will compare White Dove with other colors, but just to kind of give you an overarching view of White Dove, that is what you need to consider when choosing this paint color. Okay, now let's do some color comparison. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that color comparison is the secret to making sure that you get the perfect color for your space. So just to start off, we're going to compare White Dove with Chantilly Lace. Now Chantilly Lace is a true white paint color. There are no undertones. You don't see any yellow, any grayish. It's true white. People typically use Chantilly Lace if they are decorating with a lot of stark white. Otherwise, it's a little bit too bright white to put on walls. It's used a lot on ceilings and on trim work, but typically, unless you're decorating with a lot of true whites, or maybe you're in a beach house and you just have crisp white furniture everywhere and decor, um, Chantilly Lace is typically gonna be a little bit too bright for your space. So that's just comparing Chantilly Lace with White Dove. Okay, now we're gonna compare White Dove with Simply White, which is another super popular paint color by Benjamin Moore. It's a soft white. However, it's much brighter than a White Dove. White Dove, as you know now, has an LRV of 83 and Simply White's LRV is 89. Um, even though it's LRV is pretty, you know, up there, it's still not considered a true white. It is, it is a soft white. It does have a little bit of a cream undertone and a little bit of a grayish undertone. It's just significantly less than white dove. If somebody wants a softer white, if their space kind of demands a softer white, but they really don't want to see too much cream or too much grayish, simply white is typically where I will steer them. Okay, now let's compare Cloud White, which is another very popular Benjamin Moore soft white color with White Dove. So Cloud White is another soft white, but it lacks a lot of the grayish undertone that you see in White Dove, and it's got more yellow. So yellow is significantly more prevalent in Cloud White. If you like the idea of a soft white, but you want something with a little bit more creaminess on the wall, Cloud White is a perfect one to sample. Okay, let's wrap this up by comparing Alabaster with Off-White. Now, typically I will suggest Alabaster if someone wants a very, very creamy Off-White. It looks nothing like White Dove when on the walls. It's much creamier. It's got a significant yellow undertone and it's just a hair darker than White Dove as well. So if you like the soft whites, but you want, you want a good bit of creaminess, Alabaster is also another good one to sample. So that wraps up this video on White Dove. I do have um, several blog posts on White Dove, including where we've used it in our home, we've used it in our trim, on shiplap, um, in our bathroom. So I love this color. It is a great color. You can't go wrong if you want a soft white with um, a grayish and a little bit of a creamy undertone. White Dove is a great one to try. Thanks so much for watching.